Hey guys, this is iReplica Amsterdam coming at you with the most wanted pick of, I would say, the, the last year. These are the Air Yeezy 2 one ones I picked these up from Trade5A.com. Thanks to Daniel once again. Um, you know what? Let's skip all the formalities and let's just get into the shoe. Well, I came with a box. And the box is all a little beat up, but whatever, you know, it's, it's still it's still legitimate. As you can see, I can uh, add it to the rest of my collection there and the other ones on the other side. As you can see, like Air Yeezy. Sorry, I can't focus too much. The camera is pretty old school. Um, but let's get into the shoe. I also picked up the Platinum, so I'm going to get into the Solar Reds first. And then I'll get into the Platinums. One second, see what's going on here. Aha! So, there you go. I'm going to get into it quickly, so you guys know exactly. I'm not going to waste your time, nor my time. Uh, the toe box. As you can see, it's, not, it's, it's milky. You can't see through it. The previous one, you could. I unfortunately don't have the other ones to compare it to. I threw them away because I tried doing some fixes and... It didn't turn out right, so I didn't even really think about making this comparison video. But to let you know the truth, it is, they, I mean, seriously, these things are just on fucking point. The snakeskin leather, as you can see, it's, it's a bit matter than before. Um, it is rougher, so it's easier, like custom reps. Shout out to custom reps, by the way. Keep doing your thing, homeboy. You, uh, you showed me, you know, how to open this up, how, how to make the snakeskin a bit more... Uh, close to the real Air Yeezy, what you got to do, and I will do the fixes. I'm going to make a video with all the fixes inside of it. Um, so the fixes are going to be the suede, how to make it a bit rougher. We obviously don't have to do this anymore because it's a milky toe, so they already fixed that. We got to make this one matte, rougher, and we're going to have to make the snake skin a bit uh, like that you can pull it out. You know that it's actually open. So as you can see, it's closed. And I'm going to open these up with an exacto knife. Uh, but we'll get into that later. The shark skins, as you can see, there's five of them still like uh, the real Air Yeezys. A big difference between this one and the, the previous one is that you can't maybe see it here. But you see how it goes from the top, top to bottom? The previous one, it was a lot wider. They were all the same width. In this one, you can see a clear difference. It goes from small, medium, no, small, medium, medium, large, large to XL. So basically, it goes from smart, small to, to really XL. They, you know, like the real Yeezys. The biggest reason, and this is also the reason that I fucked up my other shoe, the other Yeezy, because I tried opening up the toe box so I could cut the suede to make it smaller. Ta-da! It's not needed. The exact the 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 one one version comes exactly where it should be. I measured it out. It's supposed to be. And once again, uh, everybody in America and UK. Uh, I live in in Amsterdam, so we do everything by centimeters here. The difference between here and here is supposed to be seven point sorry point seven centimeters. And that should be around point three something inches. Just so y'all know. If you can, you, you can grab a measuring tape, measure that up, and you'll know it, it matches up. So, thumbs up to that. You guys in China, uh, Trade 5A, you guys copied that exactly the way it should. You got the Nike swoosh, snake skin. I'm going to do the same fix, you know, with the acetone, a sandpaper, and then I'm going to cut it with the X-Acto knife. The toe box, it's got the mesh. Awesome. It felt comfortable as hell. It felt a little tighter than the previous one, but I like it. I like when the sneaker actually fits perfectly. Like, it, it hugs your feet as opposed to, like, you know, your feet swimming in it. Um, the flap, yes. The previous one, it had Velcro all running up through here, man. This is That's not the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be exactly like this. It's supposed to have the hieroglyphics. Which is supposed to be, uh, in, in the Egyptian, it's supposed to be Air Yeezy 2. I think it's supposed to be, uh, say Yeezy 2. You got a piece of Velcro which is stitched on beautifully, my friend. Beautifully. It's not done whack, you know, there's some glue or some shit like that. No, it's done perfectly. 
You got the same, uh, yeah, you can't read it, man, God, I wish I had a new camera. Uh, it says Kanye West and Nike at, and it says the millennium, so 2011, yes. I don't know why 2011, if it came out in 2012, but the previous one didn't have this. I mean, this is, these are the small details that make it more authentic, which it ain't, but, you know, it seems like it. The lace lock, the previous one was flimsy, man. I remember I getting out of the box and I tried ironing it, doing everything to stiffen it up. Right now, I'm actually pressing it pretty hard and it doesn't close all the way. You know, it's point to point. I open it, let it go, and you see, it's, it's, it goes flat, it flattens out again. It's got the, which is a good thing for all you guys who don't know what the hell that means. This is an anaconda snake skin pattern on top of it. My previous one did not come with that. The sizing of it looks a lot legit, more legit as well, the, the, the circumference of it. You got a horse symbol. Ta-da! Perfect. The tongue, man, this motherfucker is stiffer than the other one. Feels comfortable. Feels like a, man, I swear to God, this feels like a legitimate sneaker, like a real, real sneaker. I, I mean, I'm so happy with these. I really wanted these Yeezys. I couldn't get my hands on them, and I'd be damned if I was going to get paid like 2000 3000 for it. No way, man. I mean, I didn't want them that bad, but I really wanted them, though. And I'm so happy with these. Things are comfortable as hell. Perfect quality. I mean, I know you guys are hating on replica game, but man, for real lovers of these sneakers, man, like, I know it's not the real thing, but it just feels good having these, man. I don't know what the, I, I know, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can hate, y'all can do all your comments and stuff, but it just feels good having these. The actual shape of it is jet stream, man. This thing is awesome. The diamonds, as you can see, perforated, it's good shit. Uh, the lace locks, okay, I put some, some schoon spawners, how do you call it, those uh, shoe trees, shoe horns, shoe trees in there. When I got them in, the shoe was a bit uh, banged up because it was all pressed in. I had a lot of, uh, one of these, the shoe horn, had a lot, which I recommend, by the way, with any sneaker. If you done wearing it, put it in right away, man. This thing is legit. It, it stretches out, the, you won't have your uh, creases that, uh, that quickly. Uh, the reason I did that is uh, here, to take out so I can show you the lace locks. They look legit. Um, one second, let me see. Uh, I'm just going to point out. Yeah. All right, those are the platinums. I'm just going to let you focus on those platinums for a second while I unscrew these. The platinums, I'm putting them in the sun right now so you can see that they actually glow. All right, taking you off of the platinums. As you can see, you can unscrew them. I, they're a little too silvery, I think. That's the only thing. Went, and that's why I'm happy I used my head last time. I kind of, you know, I'm grabbing my box. The previous one came out with a bit darker. Like the charcoal ones. So I'm going to put these on as opposed to the really silver ones. See the difference? One's darker. I'm going to put on the darker one. But just so you know, they are screwable. <laughs> okay, that sounded really nasty. You can screw them and unscrew them, uh, so which is legit. I'm going to try to make like a gold lace tip fix, man. I don't know how, what type of paint I got to use. The bottom, look at that, man, beautiful. Yeah, I'm grab the camera real quick again. Nike, beautiful, man. This sneaker is beautiful. You know, let me just, you know what, let me put this on real quick so you can see. Hold on, guys. Thanks for bearing with me. Oh, wait. I still got a sock in there to to, 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 to take out the, the toe box so it doesn't smush. I got my really skinny jeans on right now. I don't know if... I don't know if that's a good thing. I'll try to do a really good online review, uh, uh, on-shoe review. But you see, I didn't even put these in the... In the light, and they're already shining, man. Look at that. It's like I'm, in, what, you know, I'm walking in the year 2025, man. Look at that shit. You know, it looks legit. It looks really legit. Yeah, my Roly. Yeah, it's a real one. Um, but look at that, man. That shit, that shit looks dope. Obviously, there's got to be some some differences. 
um, between this one and the Authentics, but uh, they made those differences minuscule enough that we can fix them as, uh, as uh, people who purchase replicas. And that's obviously this right here. This came out to be like more of a pink. I think they tried to copy the uh, color of the first Yeezys. Um, which is a legit, don't get me wrong, man. They did a good job. So now we know they can actually make the first Yeezys with the legitimate color. The insole is supposed to be black. These are so, these, this is really easy to fix. It's not, it's not a big deal. All you got to do is grab a spray paint, spray that black, spray that black a couple of times. Let it sink in. I've done this before, and I will do that again. Uh, this one, I'm going to buy the solar red. BC, BC Intron, I think that's how you say it. I don't know. But BC Intron, he did actually fi uh, actual fix. My nigga, you did overdid it a little bit with the snake skin, but you know, can't hate. Everybody, it's your money. You can do with it what you want. Um, but he showed you that it's possible to fix these things. Um, so that's it, man. I mean, the sneaker is on fucking point. If any of you are doubting whether I should or whether I should not purchase it, purchase it, man. That, you, serious God, purchase it. Because the thing is, they will not sell you the old ones anymore. So they've gotten rid of those. It's all of these or better. You know what I mean? And I, honestly, man, I, don't, I can't really see how the hell this can get better. Because they're not going to make it exactly, exactly like the real one. You know, there's always going to have to be something off. So if you put that in, the, in your mind, then... Trust me, you'll be the happiest client in the world because the the fixes are so small. You can anybody can do them. You know, like this is so easy. This is so easy. I'll give you a, I'll give you a a fix video for that. Don't worry about it. So that's that. And I'm gonna let you guys. I'm gonna leave you guys with just one more. Uh, the last bit, which is uh, the platinums. Just real quick. I wanted to show you that uh, how the hell they shine. Look at that. I don't even have the co the cupboards closed yet, and or I mean the curtains closed and. Sorry, Shannon. Look at that. Oh wait, no special effects here. Just pure. What you see is what you get. Look at that. I just put these in about 10 minutes ago in the sun, and it's rainy as hell right now. So the sun is like straight up, not shining. Look at the 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 the, the, the solar red ones. I didn't even put those in the sun. I think it's just from a little bit of exposure of the sun. They're already shining. So for you, or those of y'all that are wondering whether it's shining or not, it's shining. It's a motherfucking star. I swear to God. Look at that. The wood, um, the, the platinums right away. The only fix you need with these, because the, the, the color of, of the lining is perfect. The white is perfect. Uh, this maybe needs to be a bit wider. I don't know. I'm going to leave it like this. Everything is perfect except this. This one needs to be the same color as this. It's in, so in other, or maybe not exactly the same, but the suede has got to be a bit lighter than what it is right now. And I will do a fix with the with the bleach and everything. These are on point, man. Look at that shit. Look at that. Also a tip, guys: buy one of these these shoe trees or horns. I don't know why you say it in English, but Swear to God, it helps so much. Every time I wear them, I put a sock in here till about here. Put the shoe horn in there so the shoe horn comes here and it it stretches it out. Not the actual shoe, just it keeps your toe nice and uh, around. You're never going to have some creases in there. Like that. Wow. I'm so happy with these guys. I don't. I just don't know where to wear them yet. <laughs> I haven't had the occasion to yet. I don't want to make them like you know, wearing them all the time, so it's like it becomes a normal shoe. I want to create the specialness to the replica. Yes. Legit, 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 legit. Man, I'm so happy with these guys. Purchase them. Uh, contact Daniel or Jack. Uh, I prefer Daniel, the guy's more interactive and, uh, I don't know, open for customers, man. Jack is, I think, the guy who hates his life. Um, but Trade 5A, that's where I get my shit at. So far, they've never disappointed me. Snapback caps are dope. Uh, clothing is good. Um, yeah, I mean, I give, I give Trade 5A, like, straight up, two thumbs up. Serious. This is not my first purchase, and it's not my last. Trust me. 
All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with this. And obviously, the other videos are going to follow with the fixes, and I'm going to do an on-shoe review as well. All right, guys, laters.